for the zipper panel because I, I never can remember like how much overlap and whatever. Mm -hmm. I usually don't um, get all the measurements and, and, and then try to do the, the math. Mm -hmm. Usually just take a strip that like this strip mm -hmm. will be fine to use. Okay. And let's see, can we get two zippers out of it? Yeah. Okay, good. So we'll use this. We'll know that the center of it, we'll want to center the zipper. Okay. Right? And then we if we cut another strip that big, we'll we'll have plenty. And then we can cut this once the zipper is sewn in, mm -hmm. then we cut this much out from it. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. So if we just have extra strips to use. Um, so let's see, we can take this and create another strip. Doesn't matter how big it is, as long as it's big enough, right? So there. Okay, let's see. zipper panel like this you don't worry about pattern matching okay. you only worry about since this is kind of stripy mm -hmm. then the stripes would kind of be at the same point okay but so in order to do that if we just get the zipper kind of lined up to the center of the pattern, mm -hmm. the the pattern then we can chop off extra here okay. so let's just go to the serger next With the walking foot machine, I, I usually don't change the foot. It's okay. the, I keep the quarter inch welt foot in all the time. Okay. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna actually put the teeth in like it's the welt cord. But I'm not trying to get close. Okay. I'm not trying to get close. It's just gonna ride in there. My, the foot is on the edge of the zipper. And you're trying to be really careful not to um, get too close to the teeth and also not to let this pucker up in any way. Okay. So I've got puppet hands mm -hmm. down here, you know, making sure it's, it's not gonna gather up. Mm -hmm. And puppet hands, keep it under tension. advantage to not planning it all out mm -hmm. especially with a lap zipper mm -hmm. is that if you are a little generous or too shy with mm -hmm. your seam allowance mm -hmm. 
then you just fix it with your final cut at the end. Oh, right. Whereas yeah. if you plan it all out and you cut things perfectly, but then are off a little bit with your seam allowance, yeah. you have to trim it anyway, yes. right? would use a heavy upholstery zipper too mm -hmm. but since this is such a small rise cushion mm -hmm. the teeth are bulky with the upholstery zipper so mm -hmm. I just kind of wanted to keep it okay. pretty simple okay now I can pull this back since this is linen I might as well just give it a good um, uh, finger press okay So that's the bottom panel of the zipper. With some really heavy linen, we can get away with doing this. And then I'll make sure I'm not too close. No problem. Okay. We'll do the same for this one. It's not about a pattern, perfect pattern match. It's about lining up stripes. Right there, you mm -hmm. go. See that? That looks like it's intentional. Yes. Just the center being lined up. Okay, if I flip to this side, I should be able to line up the. There we go. Okay. able to feel because we need to get through right here at the three-quarter mark and you know what I'm going to do I'm actually going to go going to go on this side so I can have this butt up against the teeth and if I do it that way oh it's going to be easier this way okay I got it let's get this out of the way for now there we go. So this will be butt up against the teeth. There we go. There we go, up against the teeth, and then I'm catching mm -hmm. this. Wow, we're gonna have to take a picture of that method. 
I'm gonna have to go through that work again. There we go. So now I'm the right side of the foot up against the teeth. Mm -hmm. We so rarely do lap the zippers. Oh, you know what though? For our round poof ottomans, we're gonna be doing them a lot. Oh. So, it's probably good that we're getting this down. Oops, I should have taken out that staple. Let me take it out this time. Didn't even break the upholstery thread. Isn't that nice? Okay. That's good, huh? Mm hmm. Wow, that's really good. Nice. Yeah. And it's really sturdy. Mm hmm. Okay. That's the technique. Now, how did we do it? We did this. Oh, we did the one inch first, right? Yes, exact one inch. Exact one inch. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to put one staple in this time, right there. Okay, we like that. And then it was from this side, this one, right? Yeah. Okay, so if this is over here. Pull out of the way first. crossed. What? Ah! Out of bobbin. Thought something felt weird. is on its way down. You don't really need to pick it up in a walking foot, but... Mm -hmm.
hold the thread to make sure it doesn't get a nest under there. Here we go. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Ah, a little shifty. There we go. We'll work it back. <laughs> That's not perfect, but... It looks good. I'm going to let it go. Yeah, yeah, that's good enough. Yeah, that, that, that lining up isn't quite perfect, but... Maybe just pull that back a little bit. But it's definitely good enough given where it sits on a cushion. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we'll take these to the table and trim them okay. to the three and a quarter All that right. that other strip oh, was. Oh, okay. Right? Okay, and it looks like I need to square this up here. Thanks. Okay, let's head over to the serger. 